Hello, happy Tuesday. Pink is back. I took some time to myself this morning. I did my hair. I have missed the pink. The... Yeah, the last um, hair color I did. I did it on the first of the year. I showed what I had gotten in December. It was a different brand, it was purple. The only place you really saw the purple was my grays. Um, there were some other areas that you could see some, but not much. Um, didn't like that stuff. It was a permanent one, so I thought, great, purple, permanent, it'll last longer. I barely saw the purple, and it darkened everything. The ends, I, I had bleached my ends and some more. It darkened all of that. It made the ends feel really crap, really crappy. So I haven't been happy for a month and a half now, almost. Yeah, wanted to recolor it back in January, but I didn't. And I have come to the conclusion that these baby gray hairs of mine just don't want to be any color but gray. Part of it is, but it's fine. So yeah, we had a slight change of plans for the weekend. Melis came home Friday with a sore throat. So we told her teacher that she couldn't come Saturday to help out, kept her home. Um, plus the site we had to register her to volunteer was being <sighs> very frustrating. Very frustrating. The teacher sent home um, a PDF on how to register, but when you go to the site, it says, do not register your child under their own account, register them under your account. Kevin and I already had accounts from last year. And I was and putting some information for Lilith and it changed the entire profile. So now my login and everything is no longer my profile and my information. It is set to Lilith and I can't change anything because now she's under 18 and has to have parent permission and I'm like, but it's my account. Anyway, stupid it was frustrating and then um express scripts where i have to get my um asminex that website's even more frustrating um yeah i needed to refill my medicine and i tried to a week ago couldn't it didn't have the box with the prescription prescription number. You click on if you click on my prescriptions, it brings up a page where you input the prescription number, which I didn't have. I finally found under Are you watching the lizard? Squirt is just sitting in the window watching the lizard. It's been awful cute. Uh, went to where under order history and it had a refill prescription so I clicked on that and it said added to cart couldn't find any shopping cart nowhere to check out nothing Kevin said just leave it and see what happens nothing happened and I have 15 days left on my current inhaler. 
so I really needed to order more. I found the box with the prescription number, inputted the prescription number, the page does its thing and doesn't load anything new, it just loads the same page. I was getting very frustrated, I had a really bad headache, I was very grouchy, upset with this dress. I finally found somewhere, oh, I had to update my HSA card because it expired, so they needed the new one for billing purpose purposes and I found where I can set my set it to automatic refill so I went to go do that and again said add it to the shopping cart there is no shopping cart where is the shopping cart I looked all over their website different pages all kinds of things and then all of a sudden, there is a little shopping cart up at the top corner that had not been there on any other page. So yeah, good news is I got it refilled. It's an automatic refill. I don't have to deal with them again. I really don't like Express Scripts. No, we have been fighting with them since we moved here in this one prescription. Anyway. So, kiddo came home Friday sick. We kept her home. Um, Saturday we had her, she was feeling better, but still not great. Um, we had her stay home and work on homework while we went, did Costco and grocery shopping. And came home, picked her up, and went to Target and got dinner. Yeah, and she's feeling better Sunday, except for the nose was just constantly running and she was just blowing it like crazy. Um, but we went to the fair, had some delicious barbecue, had a lady put way too much lotion and stuff on my forehead and the back of my neck to sh prove to me how great it is to work on headaches and migraines. Um, we wanted more information, not a a um, demonstration. And she's like, oh yeah, it's gone now, right? And I'm like, no, not really. And all the one thing to was, I'm like, it's just peppermint oil and menthol or whatever. And, can I wash my hands now because it's too strong? I'm like, I, I know what this is and I know how it works and yeah, it kind of helps, but not. Uh, anyway, we're walking through the fair, however later, and I'm like, hey Kev, guess what? Head still hurts. Oh. But we did that, had fun. Um, we didn't ride any rides, didn't play any games because it's, it's not what we, it's not what we do. We go walk around, check stuff out and have food and, oh, but yeah, spent a few th hours there and then we went, found a game store, which is, didn't find anything really headed back towards home, went to another game store that Kevin wanted to check out, found the Ticket to Ride Japan that just came out that I was wanting, wanting. Uh, and Lola found a new game. So we got those, and then we went and had cookie dough from the Wonderland cookie dough shop, and then went to cool stuff games to get sleeves to sleeve the cards and kiddos game and they just frustrated us again like always I swear their game selection shrinks every time we go in and Kevin made a comment to them and he's like well our card 
players outnumber you 10 to 1 and we get games in and they just collect dust and you can check the, our website and order from the warehouse. If I wanted to order games offline, I would do it from Amazon and about five other sites before years. I go to brick and mortar stores because I want to touch them and look at them and read the back of them and see them not go hmm I want a new game I don't know what kind of game I don't know the name of the game I want I want to go and look yeah the guy was rubbed me the wrong way oh sad frustrating thing sad thing is we have to go back because they did not have enough card sleeves um he said they're they'll have more in tomorrow Probably go this weekend. I don't know. Went to Target, got Kato some Dayquil, which seems to have really helped. She is feeling much better. But yeah, yesterday I had a really bad headache. Um, and just felt like poo. I cleaned up the kitchen organized the pantry and the cupboard with all of our storage containers and lunch stuff. I created a tea bar for Lilith. Um, I cleaned the, my stove top. It's all nice and shiny now. Yeah. Today I colored my hair, caught up on my bullet journal, food diary, as much as I could. I can't remember some things, so it's fine. I unsewed the neckline on my dress. I pressed it again. I think, I think it might work out now. I need to mark the hem and hem it. I also researched where to take my sewing machine. Focus, thank you. Um, yeah, the only place that kept pop that I went to their website to see where where to go, and the only thing really are the. Um, Yeah, Viking showrooms at Joann's. So Kevin said, let's just take it and talk to them and figure out which one you'd rather drop it off at. And I'm like, I want, would rather take it to the Altamont one where I like going instead of the Orlando one because that one's not the greatest areas. Maybe, maybe this weekend. I don't know. I don't know. I just know it needs to get in and get fixed. And I want to take it to a Viking dealer. So yeah, that's where that's where we're at. I've got plans to make something new tonight for dinner. So fingers crossed it turns out. It's a pioneer woman. Most of the time her stuff turns out good for me, but we'll see. Anyway, I should probably quit rambling and get something done. Yeah, so yeah, I will talk to you later. Hope you're having a good week. I'll talk to you later. Good morning. You have to give me a moment. There we go. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I vlogged once last week. Oh, look, my battery's di dying. 
course. I vlogged once last week, so I guess we'll just add that to this one. Or add this to that one. Yeah. I'm entering survival mode. Kiddo has her TSA conference next week. Kevin has some big meetings next week, which thankfully travel was canceled. So he will be staying home. But yeah, i am got a lot going on and things just get, what has to be done gets done. Anyway, we had a good weekend. We had some family time, lots of family time. Did some yard work, played some games, cleaned the house. Well, picked up the house. Needs cleaned, but. Oh, and this morning, because kiddo has TSA conference next week, all this week she will be going in early at 8.30. There are three days that she needs to stay after until 5.30 to this week, one next week. So, yeah. Today's one of those days where she's in at 8.30 and will be done at 5.30. But... Because the wonderful non-artistic boys on her one team have come up with some grand plans for the shoebox she's been working on last week, I'm at Michael's to pick up some supplies for her because she needs more stuff. Different paint colors, a dowel most everything else we have at home, but she needed a couple extra things. <sighs> Which means I will be helping her with some of this so that we can get it done. Um, but yeah, I was a little bit early. It's after nine now, so it should be open. But the one guy's just standing there the other guy just went up, door still shut. And poor Beastie needed gas. So I had to take her by the gas station. Which, confession time, I don't like get pumping gas. I don't like do it, doing it. We keep it until the weekend when Kevin can do it. Since we've moved here three and a half years ago, I have done it twice, maybe three times. I'm back. It died. Anyway, I don't drive much. When we go places, Kevin drives. Um, so when we're out doing errands on the weekend, we get gas. I don't have to do it. Um, but backstory to that, I started driving in Oregon, and you're not allowed to pump your own gas. Pump your own gas in Oregon. So. I never had to do it in Oregon. When we lived in California, I did. And I did it quite often because we both had our separate cars. So I can do it. I have done it. I just prefer not to. And I was pouting last night because I remembered once we were in bed that, oh, the gas light came on on my way home this morning or afternoon, evening. Yesterday was a long day. We'll get into that later. Um, he's like, well, you're gonna have to go do it in the morning. Till noon. So, I like my hair, it's so pretty. I've been babying it. And I think it's lasting much longer this time. I'm excited, I'm happy. Anyway. Doors finally opened. The poor guys finally got to go in. So I need to go get this done so that I can get back home. Yo, you need to turn off because I'm already here. Yeah. 
I went. I'm gonna go. I will talk to you later. Hopefully vlog more this week so you can have a video at the end of the week. That's the plan. Hopefully things work out. So for now, I'll talk to you a little bit. All done. 9.47. Was in there for a pretty long time. Most of the time it was just me and all the employees doing stuff. Oh, felt a little weird being the only one in there shopping. I got lots of goodies. Lots of goodies. More than I should have thought. And good, the coupon did go off of the most expensive thing. Anyway, I will show you everything I got later. It's getting a little stuffy in this car. It's supposed to be pretty warm today. 87? Almost 90? Of course it was going to park right next to me. Oh. Anyway. Yeah. There were a lot of guys in there. A lot of guys shopping. Oh. And this guy I saw in the store, he just came back. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's supposed to be pretty hot today. So I'm gonna get this car started and head home. I've got, yeah, I'll do a haul for you later between Michael's and I did some uh, Amazon shopping the other day. I think that's what showed up at our door just a little bit ago. Anyway, I will talk to you later when I get back home. Bye. Back home. I need to remember next time I'm ordering stuff on Amazon to buy a big tripod. The one I have on my list is like less than $20. I should have ordered it, but I didn't think about it. So currently my little bitty tripod, I have two of these, is sitting on top of a box on my table because I'm standing. Um, anyway, Michael's, I bought a dowel we're going to turn this into trees with the bunch of clay that is in the closet. So I need to pull that out before I forget. One hour left. Less than an hour. I'm really hungry. And Kevin was out making his lunch, so. And for myself, I got more glue refills, glue tape, that's what it's called. I got this really cool thing for my bullet journal, helps make circles and charts and other things. So yeah. I saw it, I'm like, oh, that's really cool. I did buy something else that I already put away. They had a package of seven, six, silicone reusable straws in rainbow. I'll have to pull them out later and show you, but I bought them to put in kiddos Easter basket this year. Um, I got some stamps. They're just alphabet, basic, straight stamps. They were clearance for like five bucks. And it's too sensible. Squirt, quit licking the floor. I got standing sugar. 
because we're going to be making a Mardi Gras cake next week. I wanted to get the bigger containers of them, but they didn't have any green, just purple and yellow. So I got three little ones. And I bought some flowers. Just their small bunch, $5 sets. I have a bunch of my mom's old embroidery hoops and I want to make one of this embroidery hoop wreaths. I don't have a pretty spring wreath, so I thought I would do that. And I found some flowers I really liked. I also got some beading monofilament. Not going to use it for beading. I have another idea, so hopefully it'll work. And also for kiddos project, paint, green and brown. She needed a darker green for tree colors and we're going to lighten it or darken it if need be. And then brown for dirt. And finally, a foam cutter to cut the foam that one of the boys' mom gave me to use for this stupid project. Yes, it's gonna, I was gonna say, I don't even think it's gonna get used, but yes, it will, because that's what we're making the Whomping Willow trunk out of. But I was telling Kevin, I don't even know how to cut this. And he's like, well, you need a foam cutter. It heats up and just glides right through. I would have stopped at Joanne's or Michael's last night after I had picked her up, but neither one of those locations over on that end of town had one in stock. So I had to go today. Now who's at the door? Nobody. Surprise, surprise, big truck drove by. Oh, I will do my Amazon haul later, possibly tomorrow, depending on how late things arrive. Because I don't have everything I ordered. And one of the things, I'm probably not gonna be getting until next month let's see let's check the i had mentioned march 2nd so two weeks last month i had ordered a stamp set the hearts i got the dies for it but the stamps were unavailable Tried ordering them again because I saw them in stock, but then shipping was like $8. And I said, no, I don't think so. The stamp set's only seven. But when I was on Amazon Sunday, when we ordered everything, they were back in stock and still $7 and prime shipping. So I got them. After Valentine's Day, Whatever, it's fine. I'll have them for next year. I thought this was broken, but it's not. Okay. Anyway, it's getting hot in my room, so I need to turn the ceiling fan on. And get some work done. My room's a mess. All that. All that. I need to update my bullet journal because I didn't touch it most of last week. So, yeah. And I haven't even started this week's layout. Yeah. We're just not even going to fill out what I ate because I can't remember. Oh, all right. I'm gonna go. I'll talk to you later. 
Hello, happy Wednesday. <sighs> Having an off day. Don't know what, I think I'm just tired. I've had a bit of a headache too. So yeah. Anyway. Um, Amazon stuff showed up last night. I'm still waiting on one more thing, but it's not going to be here for two more weeks, so. Anyway, I figured I would show you the last of the things that I've ordered. Some of it's pretty boring, but it was out of things. First one is my uh, acid reflex pills. I've been using these. They're a, it's a natural one. And it's been got it's been doing a pretty good job. Changed my diet some and it's much better. I'm not taking the Prilosec. I take it maybe once a month. But that works pretty good. Also got some more cranberry pills. Because I'm get UTIs pretty easily. And since I started taking cranberry pills every single day, it seems to have helped. I also got more hair color. This is my favorite brand and color. I technically could have ordered two boxes, but I think I have, between what I have left and this, I'm good for one more time. Last time I ordered, they were on sale for $5, and I should have bought more than two, but we only ordered two, and it was back up to 10. We also got more rose water. The one I was using was out of stock, so we're trying a new brand. It was cheaper and had better reviews, so we'll see. And then I got a new belt to go with my dress, which is still hanging up. Um, but anyway, to wear with that and my other oh, stuff. I did not realize that it had silver on it though. I was trying to find something with gold, but it's fine. And last thing for myself, new shoes. They're by Daily Shoes San Francisco, but they're super cute. Wrap around your ankle. These ones, I have cat hair all over from wearing them a little bit last night. They zip up the back too. The other pair that I bought last month, the ones that didn't fit, did not have a zipper and it was not fun getting them, getting them on. But these fit pretty good. A little tight here where my big toe is. I think it's just my big toe. So I am going to wear them with a pair of socks and see if I can stretch them out a little bit. And then the last thing we got is for kiddo. I guess it's for all of us, but it's for kiddo. So a couple weeks ago after we went to the fair we went to a game store and she found a game that we bought. Um, it's called Hearts of Crown and this one was Fairy Garden. It's an expansion, but we were okay getting it because it says it's a standalone expansion. You can either play it with the base game or by itself. 
So we got it. We got the cu a couple expansion decks that they had. And they had the collectors. They're all shiny, so it's hard. But um, I don't know. They go with the game. They're the little characters. They're really cute. I was hoping I could get one out easily, but it doesn't. Let's see. Okay. There you go. Anyway, that's just the char the characters. I don't know. We haven't actually played the game, so I don't know. But. It was a collector set and adorable and Nolith wanted it and we were like, um, yeah, let's go ahead and grab that. Kevin checked later on and he was very glad we bought it because it was, everywhere had it sold out, back ordered and for like $300 and we paid like 20 bucks. They're adorable. It's great. But Kevin was researching it all later on. Found out that there is a playing mat. Like for um, Magic the Gathering and Pokemon and those types of things. So he actually ordered that Sunday. But the store we went to did not have the base game. They had it in their library and he's like, well, I can see if we can sell it to you. And Kevin's like, no, no, it's fine. I think part of it was if he's going to get it, he wants a brand new one. But he ordered the base game. So now we have both of them. I had to rearrange the games on the shelf again to make room. Oh. We also got the new Ticket to Ride Japan. So I had to make room for that one too. But we watched a video on this. It's a base it's a deck building game which I really like the de like deck building games. But it also kind of seems it's different. I think it has aspects of other card games like um, Pokemon and the other one I just, Magic the Gathering, and then the deck building. And then, something else came yesterday, I saw last week, the um, site that Kevin ordered Lilith and I stuff from, the necklaces, the paper man and the castle, <sighs> I'm sorry, oh I saw they had this keychain and they were having a big sale last week for Valentine's Day and it was only five dollars so I bought it and it showed up yesterday but it's Wreck-It Ralph the one side says you're my hero the other side says to stink brain it's adorable he does not use keychains Aw, the white's a little scratched up. But I told him he could put it on his, his uh, laptop bag. But he's my hero. Ouch. 
anyway he loves wreck we all love wreck it ralph and he needed that but yeah that's my haul i've been procrastinating and doing other things today my kitchen is a disaster i really need to go do some work in there but i've been tracing a pattern that um blouse top that i want to work on i got my bandana quilt all pinned together so i just have to quilt it which i haven't dealt touched today i'm supposed to be making trees for lilith for her box i haven't i ironed my fabric for that pattern Hi, baby. I showered hoping it would help me feel better. I don't think it did. But I might as well show you the box while it's here. It's the Hogwarts Express. In the front of it, on that side, the back side, and that side. And the top, we have to cut the corner off to do something. Ugh. She's going to use her castle. That lights up instead of make a castle. Everyone seemed okay with it, so. Fine by me. She made, painted a little Ron. And a little Harry to go inside their car. I have no idea. And then I painted the inside blue. And then she did all the clouds, and now we have to cover all of it. But her friend came over and helped build the uh, cliff for the castle to sit on. She painted the grass and the lake. I don't think that's where that was supposed to go. <sighs> she had help last night that was not for me. And then they put it in here wet. So now it has dried. <sighs> anyway, she had a friend come over after school to help out. I said, fine, I don't care. Luna just fell out of the window. Um. Dang it. Awesome. <sighs> anyway, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Things weren't getting done the way that I thought they were doing or going to be done. We'll see what it turns out like later. I don't know. There's supposed to be some kind of ledge in here too. And a Whomping Willow made out of styrofoam and I thought that's what this is going to be used for. Apparently not. Oh man, this project is going to drive me crazy.
I've already told her no friends today. Of course, she has asked if her friend can come back tomorrow. I told her we'll see. We have to see how things are looking. I think it's going to be a no. No. Anyway, it's a good thing dinner is super easy. We're having bagel pizza tonight. can sit at the table, make little clay trees. It'll be fine. At least found the bucket of clay. Pulled it out and put it on the table. I didn't remember where I put it last night. But I put it in the cabinet, in the closet, and had to move stuff to get it. Ooh. Anyway, today's just been a day. Man, my camera's about to turn off, so... As I was saying, the camera's about to turn off, so I'm gonna go. <sighs> go and finish tracing my pattern so I have my table that I can use. And I really should take my machine in so that I can, before I actually start making it. So, yeah, we'll see how things go. Oh. Cool. Anyway, I'm going to go. I will talk to you later, probably tomorrow. Hope you are all doing well, having a good Wednesday. Talk to you tomorrow or later. Probably tomorrow. Kiddo should be on her way home here soon. So, anyway, bye for now and talk to you tomorrow. Hello. Happy Friday. Oh. Ah, I forget to clean up the mess Squirt made. He was being a bit of a pain got himself into my sewing room, got into my trash can, and pulled out one of his favorite things to eat. <sighs> anyway, I have been not in a mood. I don't know. In an odd place. I've got stuff going on with a family member just causing us all to worry about other family members. <sighs> found out Kevin has found out last night that Kevin has to go to Augusta next week. Thankfully, it's just Tuesday night and Wednesday. He'll be back home Wednesday night at some point. There, him and one of the other guys are going to carpool and drive. Oh. Which means I have to deal with day one of kiddo's TSA conference by myself. Which was going to anyway because even if he stayed home he would still have a big meeting Wednesday and whatnot but he won't be home when I get home and kiddos TSA conference is next week she is staying uh, she's gone in early every day this week she stayed late Tuesday She's staying late again today. I got an email last night that there's a build day tomorrow and we're supposed to be having Kevin make plans 
for Valentine's Day. So we're supposed to celebrate this weekend. Come on. Anyways, we were going to do tomorrow. But I don't know. He could not get reservations at all for the restaurant that I want to go to. Because it's at Disney Springs and it's a race weekend, so of course. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to do tomorrow or wait till Sunday. And then Lilith has to stay late Monday and Tuesday. Three weeks. We have three weeks until spring break and we can sleep in for a week and not worry about anything. Because I don't know what's coming up after this TSA conference. I think there's other things in April. I don't know. But that also means fourth quarter will be starting and state testing and all that fun stuff and end of the year then we're gonna have an eighth grader oh hi <coughs> i don't think all of youtube wants to see you say hi no okay anyway so I've just been, my friend messaged me today and we are going to hang out on Monday. So that should be good and nice and helpful. <laughs> anyway, I have been, let's see today, because of all, all of this, I spent an hour at Target. I think it was an hour. It may have been more than an hour. I wandered around Target all by myself. Bought myself pretty things. Bought some new BB, cre BB cream to try. Bought a couple new lipsticks. Bought a new bra. Because somebody chewed the strap of my black one and it was on clearance so hey it can't be 950 for a new bra i bought some pretty i apparently have not checked time hop today some pretty no show liners whatever it's more with my new shoes which by the way look I look lovely today because I'm wearing them again and trying to stretch them out just a little bit more before I wear them this weekend but I have my nice thick socks on and my pretty black shoes but I bought two different kinds of Sockies, liners, whatever you want to call them. They don't know which one I like more. Mm. So, the good news is both of them work with these shoes, and you can barely see the one you can't see at all. The other one you can see a little bit of lace poke around the edges. But I did that. I came home, I took a nice long bath and relaxed for a little bit. I did a charcoal face mask because blackheads have been pretty bad. Anyway, taking care of myself today and working on trees. I hate this project, it needs to be over. But yeah, I've got trees drying out on the dining room. I had to buy more clay to fix 
the trees and the uh, tree stump. <laughs> Painted all the little trees that we had done. Last night, I made this. She painted the train, but yes, it was fun holding these little bitty trees in the piles of hot glue while they dried. I should have bought compressed air while I was at Target. I didn't. But did I ever show you her box? I think I did. I need to remember to go cut this corner off. But we painted green. Ron keeps rolling all around. And Harry. I'm pretty sure I showed you this the other day. But she painted the inside. We need to glue this into the corner. That, the trees and the train go over there. But squished down. It takes some effort and I don't want to push it back in until we glue it. She has to color her Quidditch field. And that's gonna go there. And then she needs to um, paint the stands. And her little castle will go right there. I don't know. And the walking willow tree stump supposedly will be glued there. I don't know if we're going to have room for it with the car in though. So hopefully we get enough done tonight that she can take it tomorrow and test things. The trees I'm working on will be going up here. Yeah. <laughs> I like crafts, but I'm over it. I also need to get up in the attic and get my box for my machine because we're going to take it in. Hey. We're gonna go ahead and take it in to get it serviced or see if we can get it in to be serviced. So it means I'm probably gonna be without it for a week or two. Hi. Anyway, I think that's it for this week. I got stuff to finish. So when we finish it, oh, she's got to touch up Harry's hair. I will show you in another vlog the finished product. So for now, I hope you've had a good week. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And we will talk to you real soon. Bye. See you real soon.